The man in charge of the Russia investigation is, def and is again defending its integrity and his. In a rare interview with The Wall Street Journal, Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein said, quote, I committed I would ensure the investigation was appropriate and independent and reached the right result, whatever it may be. I believe I have been faithful to that. As for his relationship with President Trump, his prospects for, say, continued employment, Rosenstein went on to say, the president knows that I am prepared to do this job as long as he wants me to do this job. Meanwhile, here's how Trump characterized the Mueller investigation appearing on Fox Business last night. First of all, there was no collusion. There was no Russia. Do you think I'd call Russia? I need help in Idaho. Mm -hmm. I need help in Iowa. Oh, let's call Russia. It's a, it's a con job. Our Justice Department and FBI played right into their hands with a stupid investigation, or whatever you call it. Also tonight, a day after the president called his former personal attorney a liar and nothing more than a PR guy, NBC News is confirming Michael Cohen was back to talk to federal prosecutors in New York just today. Sources say it's part of his ongoing cooperation with the Mueller effort. And finally, today was White House counsel Don McGahn's last day at work at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. While his departure was expected, we didn't know it was official until the New York Times broke word of it tonight. And it's notable for this reason. Remember, McGahn has spent over 30 hours talking to Mueller's investigators. With us tonight to talk about it, former U.S. Attorney Joyce Vance, who spent 25 years as a federal prosecutor. Um, Joyce, first off, Rosenstein, one doesn't get to the conference room on the fourth floor of the Justice Department by accident. Obviously, this was by invitation, by prearrangement. It's the Wall Street Journal. Uh, why now, and did you find any more notable quotes in what he said? It's very unusual for a deputy attorney general to sit down and, and give the press sort of a free-ranging interview that's not related to a specific case or policy that's being announced. So I think it is curious. One might easily ask the question why he did it today. I don't really discern a clear answer to that question looking at his comments but it's good to see him hitting hard and firmly maintaining that the investigation is independent and that it will reach a result with integrity. Uh, one of the best reporters covering this White House, uh, Maggie Haberman of The New York Times, appeared on our competition over at CNN tonight. And because this reporting is hers, we wanted to share it in her own words. She's talking about something specific she has noticed about the president's communications just recently. He had taken a break from agitating about this. He had not tweeted the words witch hunt for a month. And the way it had been described to me by several people close to him was, A, he personally believed that Mueller was winding down for whatever reason, and we don't know why, but that he believed that, number one. And the number two, he also believed that all he could do was rock the boat. And yet here you had him doing it again this week. So, Joyce, do you believe that, part one, and part two, where do you think, I know you're asked this all the time, where do you think the Mueller effort is? It did seem like someone took the president's phone out of his hands for a couple of weeks. You know, his Twitter feed was uh, conspicuously silent and not using the term witch hunt and not trying to uh, call out individual employees at the FBI and the Justice Department who he uh, was offended by. So that seemed actually to be a positive development. Whether or not that means that the president believes that this investigation is coming to a conclusion, it's tough to say. But one thing that I know from my years in DOJ is oftentimes people who are looking at an investigation from the outside and concluding uh, that it will wrap up a certain way, that there will be indictments, that there won't be indictments, those people are often sadly mistaken when the final results are released from the grand jury. It's very difficult to predict these results from the outside because we don't know all of the evidence that Mueller has available. We don't know if he thinks that there are gaps in the evidence that makes it difficult for him to indict additional cases or potentially he's sitting on the mother load and could really be looking at a full-blown series of indictments that would uh, sort of chew in in a serious way to this idea that there was collaboration between the, the Trump campaign and Russian interests. Hey.
Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.